and today we're just going to be doing a quick warm up. To start, we're going to start with a few arm exercises. We're going to start with some just regular shoulder press. Make sure your hands are going near your shoulders and up. When you get to the top, make sure you're working those shoulders. Make sure you feel it there. Legs can be shoulder width apart. All right, our next exercise, we're just gonna be doing some bicep curls. So arms start at your side, lift up and contract those bicep muscles to make sure you're working them. Slow down and slow on the way up. You can also do All right, our next exercise, we're just gonna be doing some reverse flies. So you can stand, feet shoulder width apart. Arms are gonna start by your knees. You're gonna bring them out to the side and contract those back muscles. Make sure you're doing this slow and controlled too. Just warming up that back. You can also do any of these with weights. All right. Now we're going to move on to some leg work. We're going to start with lunges. So you're going to start one leg. We're going to do 10 on each leg. You're going to lunge and bring one leg up and back. We're going to do this 10 times. Make sure you're working on that balance when you lift that leg up. Also make sure your back knee is not touching the floor. And two, and one. All right, same thing on the other leg. Working on that balance. If you need to touch the floor, your foot to the floor, that's okay. Make sure you're tight, it'll help with your balance during these. All right, and three, two, and one. All right, next exercise, we're just gonna be doing some calf raises. So hands can be on your hips, out to the side, whatever you're comfortable with. You can also make it more challenging by putting your toes on the edge of the mat. We're gonna be doing just 10 of these. Make sure you're slow and controlled on the way up and on the way down. And three, two, and one. All right, our next exercise, we're gonna be doing some good mornings, but we're gonna be doing this with just one leg. So start on one leg. You're gonna go down like a regular good morning and then come back up. If you wanna challenge yourself, try not to touch your other foot to the ground the whole time. Make sure your back is straight during it the whole time too. Squeezing that core. We're gonna do about 10 of these on each leg. And two. And one. All right. Same thing on the other leg. Make sure you're bending that front leg for stability. Also make sure your back leg isn't going too high or too low. You can also add weight to any of these exercises. And three, two, and one. Good job. All right, now we're gonna move on to our last leg exercise. We're just gonna be doing some regular squats. Arms can be to your chest or out to the side. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. You can either go to a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle, whatever you're most comfortable with. 
We're going to be doing 10 of these as well. Step, not letting that, those glutes go back too far. All right, and three, two, and one. All right, moving on to some stretches. We're gonna start lacing your fingers behind you. Give that chest a good stretch. We're gonna add some front toe taps to keep moving. We're gonna do each of these for about 20 seconds. All right. Now to stretch those shoulders, you're gonna bring your arm across and pull it. We're gonna add some side steps with these. Make sure you feel that stretch in your arm. All right, and other arm, same thing. Keep those side steps going the whole time. All right, and three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna move on to some tricep stretches. So arm above your head, pull down at your elbow. We're gonna continue with these side steps throughout these. All right, other arm, same thing, continuing with these steps. Make sure you're not pulling too hard or too soft, just to where you feel a good stretch. All right. Now we're going to move on to some hamstring stretches. So you're gonna stand feet a little more than shoulder width apart. You're gonna reach down to the middle and move to the right side back to the middle, to the left side, and you're just gonna keep moving throughout, going back to the left and right sides. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay. All right, now we're gonna move on to some side So start on your Heel can be on the floor. Get it down, that's great. All right, and same thing. Work on getting that heel on the floor if you can. If you want to challenge yourself, you can try to floor and try to balance. All right, and other side one more time. Just hold for a few seconds. Go back to the other side. All right, good job. Now we're going to move on to our hands and knees. We're going to start with some push-ups. For these, you can either have your knees on the floor or just using your feet. We're gonna do 10 of these. Make sure your chest is hitting the floor every time. Also wanna make sure you're squeezing that core, keeping that stomach in. And three, two, and one. All right. Now we're gonna move on to some side plank dips. So for these, you're gonna be on your elbow, feet out in front of you like this. Hand can be on your hip or up. You're gonna raise up and dip your hip down to the mat. We're gonna do this about 10 times. Make sure you're squeezing those sides. Really make sure you're working them. All right. 
Moving on to the other side, we're just gonna do the same thing. Up on your elbow. Again, making sure you're keeping the arm strong, keep the side strong. All right, and three, two, and one. All right, good job. Now, push up position again. We're just going to be doing some plank holds with shoulder taps. So you're just going to uh, put your hand to your shoulder. We're going to do this about 20 times. Make sure you're keeping that core in, back straight, head in a neutral position. All right, and three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna stay in this position on your hands and knees. We're just gonna be doing some straight leg kickbacks. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes every time you kick up. Make sure you're really working them, get them warmed up. Also want to make sure on these your back isn't arching. You're keeping that core in. And two. And one. All right, same thing on the other leg. Make sure you're doing these slow and controlled. They don't have to be fast. Also just want to make sure you're not kicking up too high or too low. Just to where you feel it in your glutes. All right, good job. Now we're gonna move on to some tricep dips. So your hands are gonna be behind your glutes. Feet are gonna be out in front of you, shoulders apart. You're gonna raise up into a bridge and bend those arms to work those triceps. We're gonna do about 10 of these. Make sure you're keeping that core tight, up as high as you can. And two, and one. All right, now we're gonna move on to some stretches. We're just gonna be doing a lunge. So start on your right leg. Make sure your foot is in front of that knee. Back leg is straight behind you. You're just gonna push forward. Just push to where you feel uncomfortable, or not uncomfortable. Just to where you feel the stretch, but not uncomfortable. All right, now we're gonna lift that back leg up, hold it in your hand if you can. We're just gonna stretch that quad. If you need more of a difficult stretch, you can lean forward more, get that deeper stretch in there. Also wanna make sure your hips are facing forward the whole time. All right, same thing with the other leg, just starting with the lunge left leg out in front of you. You can also have your hands on the floor or you can have them out to the side if you want more of a challenge. All right, and pick that back leg up again. Stretch those quads. Again, you can go as far into the stretch as you need to. If this is hard to balance for you, you can try putting one arm out, making sure those hips are facing forward still. All right. Now we're gonna move on to a hip stretch. So your leg is gonna go over bent. If you want, you can twist a little bit if you want that stretch. If not, you can just stay hugging your knee. Get that good stretch in the glutes. All right, and other leg, same thing. You can just hug your knee or twist. All right, 
Next, we're going to move on to a seal stretch. So your hands are going to go down, hips to the floor. Get that good stretch in your core and your back. Try to make your feet go together if you can. All right, and straight from there, we're going to go up into downward facing dog. Just stretch out those calves. You can switch off on your legs. You can hold it here. Whatever's most comfortable. All right, now we're gonna move straight from here into pigeon. So with your right leg, put your knee and foot on the ground and lean forward. If you want, you can just have your chest up like this, or you can have your hands on the ground. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold this for a few seconds. Make sure you're feeling that stretch. All right, other leg, same thing. Again, you can have your arms on the ground or up. Make sure you're keeping that back leg straight as well. All right, just a few more seconds. All right, now we're gonna move on to some ab work. So we're gonna start, actually we're gonna start with some abductor. So you can be on your elbow or arm out in front of you, head laying on your arm. We're gonna do some side leg raises. We're gonna do eight of these on each leg. <coughs> Just make sure you're working those abductors. And two, and one. All right, staying in the same position, you're gonna bring your right leg up, put it on the floor. Now your left leg, you're gonna bring it up. So we're gonna work our abductors. We're gonna do about eight of these. Make sure you're really squeezing that leg. Try to get that leg as high as you can. All right. Moving on to the other side, same thing. We're gonna start with those abductors. Let's go up. You can have your hand on your hip if you want. Really make sure you're feeling it right here. All right, and two. And one. All right, so now the same thing. Bring your left leg over this time. Your right leg is going to be working. So lift that right leg up. It's really going to be working your inner thigh. Try to lift it up as high as you can while still going slow and controlled. And two. And one. All right. Now we're going to move on to some ab work. Floor. You're just going to go side to side with your knees. Make sure you're going slow and controlled. Really working that core. You're going to do about 10 of these. Using your core during all of these exercises. All right. Now we're just going to move on to some crunches. So same position, hands can go behind your head for some support. You're gonna go up, squeeze that core, and down. Make sure you're doing this slow and controlled as well. Squeezing that core every time you go up. Also wanna make sure you're not lifting your head up with your hands. They're just there for support. And two. And one. All right, our last ab exercise, we're just gonna be doing single leg raises. Start with our right leg and our left leg. If you want, you can raise both legs up at the same time. 
Just make sure your lower back is staying on the floor the whole time. So make sure you're really working that core. All right, a few more of these. Two. And one. Oh. We're gonna stand up one last time. We're gonna be doing some hip stretches. So you come up and around. We're gonna do about five of these on each leg. Really make sure you're opening up that hip. Warmed up. All right, other leg, same thing. Make sure you're keeping stable on that straight leg, keeping that balance. All right, one last stretch. We're just gonna be doing some side stretches. Go back and forth. Stretch out that core. All right, and three, two, and one. All right, good job.